If Zinyak wants a fight, we're going to bring it to him. Taking down this simulation will wreak havoc on all the Zin systems and help us locate our friends. There's plenty you can do to overload, disrupt, and generally break the whole damn thing, so let's start small. I know hacking stores seems trivial, but it's a good place for us to begin. All right, get moving. <laughs> I think it'd be best to start at. Planet Zen. If I'm gonna work to take a store back from Zenyak, that's where I'm going first. Okay, good point. Planet Zen? Jeez, who names a store after themselves? So you should be able to hack it from right outside the door. Good luck. Kenzie's job is easy. I'm speechless right now. What the fuck is this shit? Oops, you must have tripped the security alarm. This is gonna happen every time. I think I can cut off the outside security program from the rest of the stores, so no, it shouldn't happen again. Good. Shouldn't I be running now? Uh, um, no, wait, don't. I want to see how their reaction protocols work. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. Just let me get shot at for you. Wine, wine, wine. Zinyak doesn't have a chance! Whoa. Did you see that, Kenzie? What? The cops just transformed into Zen. Looks like they're stepping up security even more. Be careful. Shit, now Zen are dropping in from the sky! Hey! That's fucking cheating! Those are access portals. You should be able to destroy them to stop more soldiers from showing up. Good! Floating robot thing. I think it's controlling the security program here. Yeah, so? So if you catch the golden orb and shut it down, then the Zin should no longer see you as an immediate threat. Catch the golden orb? Do I get points for that? Come here, you little bastard. Kenzie, it worked! Great. At least you have a way to get the Zin off your back now, so keep that in mind. Remember, this is only the beginning. With everything we're going to throw at Zinyak, he won't know what hit him. That was... odd. No kidding! Does this guy really think we would just trust some random ghost in the machine? Well, if he can help, it'd be worth it, right? Besides, what's the worst that can happen? I die. You die. We all die. Any combination that involves death at all, really. You will need to leap from platform to platform. By changing the red platforms to blue, the power connection to this simulation will remain open. The closer you land to the center, the stronger the connection. <laughs> I showed up to your rift, so start explaining how you'll get me to my friends. I know how to navigate the Zin systems and travel between them. If you can find the right simulation, I can open a gateway between that one and yours. Oh no, you aren't just one of Zinyak's goons fucking with me. Because I have no love for the Zin, as I was once their prisoner too. I have been stuck inside the Zin simulations, creating rifts, which cause chaos for Zinyak. Though the Zin inevitably shut them down. Then why am I here doing this? Your help ensures I am able to keep them open. I have anything to ask for. So why don't you do this yourself? How are you, anyway? My body has long since died. I implanted my consciousness into the main simulation system many years ago. 
Then how can you open these gateways for me? I cannot. That is, not unless you find me a physical explosive for you. I can find what my memory puts into you first. So I find you a body, and I'm supposed to just trust that you'll help me? Unlike humans, I keep my word and pay my debts. Besides, you know you need me. Finished your rip. My access code is 1331. Three, Use it when you find me a suitable form. place I can test this? Indeed I do. In order to use this element, you will need to manually alter your power. Manually? Yes. I have created this tutorial message to explain how to do so. Oh, well, that's handy. Now use your fire blast on those people. It will ignite anyone in the blast radius. Just like Johnny taught me. Man, this would be great at a barbecue. in this simulation for various powers, if you are able to find or create the code that is. Thanks for the help. It is not help, only repaying my debt. Now I will let you continue on your quest to find me the body you promised.
So the AI won't help me break into other simulations unless he gets a body. So how do we get him one, Kenzie? The Zen have almost everything in the simulation locked tight, but there is something you can use. A control and interface device. Hey, great. Where do I find one? You're in luck. The Zen have a bunch in transit right now. using CIDs to bring a downed hotspot online. Once you have a CID from them, get it to a safe spot and wipe its old programming so the AI can upload its personality into the new shell. Go back to that first hotspot you took down. You can get a CID there. Simple smash and grab, huh? Sure. Go with that. Just get one and take it to a safe spot. You don't want to deal with Zin while trying to hack that device. I'm curious, is there any way to get this AI a body in the real world, too? At this point, the AI is purely information. He's entirely digital. You could download him to your phone if you wanted. Why? Does he want a body? Would you want to be stuck inside the simulation forever? Good point. I'll check the ship for a suitable shell, just in case. Along with the CIDs, Zen are transporting a prototype for a contained forced recursive feedback projector. Kenzie, that sounds like complete bullshit, even coming from you. <sighs> Imagine a gun that fires a bullet that bounces from one target to another to another to another like a pinball racking up a billion points. Oh. Be careful not to damage all the CIDs. I don't know when or if we'll get another chance to get one of these. Yeah, 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 Kenzie, I got this. Don't worry, everyone loses to me. Which CID should I grab? It doesn't matter, just pick one. Touched it. Well, touch it different next time. What the hell, Kenzie? Don't pin this on me. These things are broken. Would you blow up on me? Yes! Finally. Quick, get to a safe spot so you can crack it open. How far away do I need to be? Just away from the Zin. Pick some place they won't find you. How long is this whole thing gonna take? I won't know until I crack open the device and see how it ticks. Alright, this spot looks good. Keep an eye out while I work on this. I guarantee the Zin have a way of finding these devices remotely. How about you dodge this? Shit, they found us. Don't let them take the CID! Work fast! I. Am. Awesome! Done yet? Would you like to take over? I could shoot aliens for a while. Good point. Kenzie, where are we at on this? Almost done. Hold 
is on. Is anyone counting these kills? <laughs> A little bit more. Okay, the CID is cracked and clear for uploading. Inputting the AI code now. Great. How long until the upload is complete? 55 minutes. F 55 minutes? These things usually take like three to five tops. Look, the connection in this area is slow. Get closer to a major connection point like a power plant and this might go faster. Why didn't we go there first? Because a major connection point for the simulation is going to be heavily guarded. Will Sid download faster? Well, probably, but... And we're taking this thing there. Once Sid's up and running, how long until we can use him to get my crew? Well, assuming the AI wasn't lying, I don't see a reason why we shouldn't be able to get right to it. Speaking of which, who do you want to grab first? Pierce? Chandi? I, uh... I think we should get Matt. Miller? Oh my god, why? Hey, Matt turned himself around after Steelport. He joined MI6, helped us with Cyrus Temple, and... You know, he's... Useful. Ish. Useful? You have a lot on your plate, Kinsey, with all this... Cyber, what's it? Figured you could use the help. I'm doing just fine without Matt Miller. Thank you. Two heads are better than one, Kinsey. Set it up. On to the next! Flip the switch and done. Excellent. How long now? Uh, K Kinsey? That's just part of the process. Apparently the sweary part of the process. Full download should only take about 16 minutes. Is there anything you can do to make it go faster? I'll see what I can find. There might be additional access points we can use to increase the bandwidth. Personality transfer at 31%. I found an access point that can help speed this along. Get to it and activate it. Found it. It's on. There's a second access point out further. the second one. All right, both the access points are online. How's the download looking? Much faster. Much, much too fast. Too fast! Sid is overloading. Overloading? Overheating! Get to him and cool him down! Okay, 
Okay, we're good. We're fine. I managed to throttle the connection a bit, so it should be much more stable now. How long until the download's done? Three minutes. Good. It should give me just enough time to fight off a few waves of Zen. Where did these murder bots come from? Murder bots? Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm having a bit of a stronger reaction. Sid, one of these murder bots instead. Do you really want to give some rogue AI an exoskeleton equipped with a complement of weapons and a history of violence? Probably not. Besides, I already found a real CID body for him on the ship. So, you know, synchronicity. Oh my god, why does this hurt so much? Personality transfer at 74%. Easy. Data bottleneck encountered. Download complete. All right, time to kill us some aliens. Oh, God. I'm gonna regret getting Sid a real body, aren't I? Oh, Sid. We're gonna get along famously. Shit, this is great. Uh, Kenzie? Take him down and I should be able to transfer some of his powers to you. Warden?
Whoa, whoa, this is... Why is my brain on fire? Welcome to being able to move things with your mind. There's a giant glass orb here, Kenzie. Yeah. It has more clusters in it. Pick it up with your mind and smash it open. Okay, now use that power to throw things at the warden and take down his shields. Nice job. I'm sure you'll have plenty of chances to use it. <laughs> 